how to remove your content from a Google service. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash support dot google dot com slash legal slash troubleshooter slash one 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 four nine zero five once you're here you'll be taken to the legal help section for removing content from google i'll just quickly read this paragraph given to you by google here it says this page will help you get to the right place to report content that you would like removed from google services under applicable laws providing us with complete information will help us investigate your inquiry if you have have non-legal issues that concern Google's terms of service or product policies, please visit http colon slash slash support dot google dot com. We ask that you submit a separate notice for each Google service where the content appears. So that's pretty clear. So for every place in Google services where your content appears, you need to request removal separately for each service. Google then asks you a question here and it says, what Google product does your request relate to? So as you can see, you have a number of services here. You have Google search, blogger slash blogspot, Google maps and related products, Google play colon apps, YouTube, Google images, a Google ad, drive and docs, Google photos and Picasa web albums, Google Shopping, Google Play, colon Music, and you also have See More Products here, so I'm just going to left click on it. So as you can see, you have even more products here. Let's just go through it all. You have Google Plus, Google AMP Cash, Google Arts and Culture, Google Assistant, Chrome Web Store, slash extensions, Gallery, Google Classroom, Cloud Firestore, Google Cloud Platform, Data Studio, Google Domains, FeedBurner, Firebase, Gmail, Google URL Shortener, Google Groups, Google Help Communities, Google Lens, Navleka, Google News, Google Play Books and Google Books, Poly, Google Sites, in brackets, Google's Wiki and Web Page Creation Tool, and Stadia. So you have every single Google service here where you can request removal of your content. Great, let's go back here to the other products. So I'm going to be picking for today's video, Google Images. So I'm just going to left click on Google Images. Let's pretend there is an image of me online that I would like removed. So as you can see, once you select your desired Google service that you want to remove content from, you get the following message from Google here. So you've got a little light bulb icon and it says, even if Google removes a web page or image from our search results, we are not able to remove content from websites that host it. The page may still exist on the website and this means it can be found through the URL to the website, social media, sharing, or other search engines. We recommend reaching out to the website owner to request removal. Access this page to learn more about how to contact a website owner. I've actually made a video on this of how to contact a website owner to request removal of your content and I'll link this in the video description below and I'll also put a card on the top right hand corner. Next, what can we help you with? So you have a couple of options here if you want to remove an image from Google, for example. So it says, I would like to report malware, phishing, or similar issues. A piece of content I am concerned about has already been removed by the webmaster, but still appears among the search results. Right to be forgotten. Request to delist information per European data protection laws. Defamation. Content defames me or my business slash organization. Intellectual property issue report copyright infringement, circumvention, etc. Other legal issue, report content for legal reason, not already listed. So I'm going to go with the right to be forgotten, request to delist information per European data protection laws. So you actually have the right for your information or data or images for that matter to be forgotten and removed from the internet. So I'm going to left click on this option here. Google then says, thanks for describing the issue. Click create request to submit a request to our team. Just left click on this big blue button here that says create request. You'll be then taken to the personal information removal request form. Here you'll need to fill out this form. So as you can see, put in your country of origin, your full legal name, contact email address, who you're acting on, if it's yourself or others, have you filled a previous request, identify the personal information you want removed, fill in a couple of more boxes, your sworn statement, confirm a couple of things, put in the current date, 
and sign your signature and then left click on submit. If you would like advice on how to fill this form, I've actually made a video on this of how to complete the personal information removal request form and I'll put that as a card on the top right hand corner and in the video description below. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let you go?